Hey everyone, I'm Ryan, and I run the infrastructure side of things here at LogDNA. In today's video, we're going to show you how to create a view and attach an alert to it. So, let's get started. Here's the everything view inside of LogDNA. Typically, you're landed into this when you log in. Uh, you can see a number of different lines streaming in here, but you'll notice there's a little error at the top here. Oop, there it goes. Maybe I want to actually find all those errors and be able to kind of take a look at them all in one place. So, because that was level error, I can go up to the filter menu, all levels, and select error. This will bring back all the lines with error in them. And you can see there's a number of different lines here. There's a user register failed, there's a website, as well as API. Now maybe I only care about API, so I'm going to type in API in the search bar. And now I can only see API type lines. So this is what I care about, and I want to know about these API errors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this particular query as a view. So I go up to the Unsave View menu, click Save as New View Alert. And then a modal pops up that shows you your query and levels that we have selected. Those are what I've put in and match up, so I'm going to call this API Errors. And I'm going to save this view. When I save this view, you can see on the left-hand side, there it says API Errors. If I go back to the Everything view, you can see all my logs here. I can immediately jump straight into API Errors just by clicking on it. But let's say looking at this view isn't good enough. Maybe I want to know when an error comes in. What I'll do then is I can go up to that same view menu, and this time I'm going to attach an alert. So I'm going to create an alert specific to this view. And there are a number of different channels that I can send the alert to. And you can mix and match these as much as you like. There's email, Slack, HipChat, Webhook, PagerDuty, you name it, we have it. So if you click on email, for example, it'll pop up a number of different options. I'm going to put in my email address here. And at the top here, you'll notice there are a couple of options to configure your alert. The first option is a threshold option, so to make sure that you don't just get spam if just one line comes in. Maybe I only care if 100 lines come in. And I only want to do this maybe once every five minutes to make sure that I'm batching them correctly so I don't get alerts all the time. So after I click the Save button here, you can see a little bell icon is attached to my API errors view. This means that that view has an alert attached to it and will send notifications out once those threshold parameters are matched. So this is particularly helpful to give you peace of mind to know that you will be alerted when there's a problem and not have to go look for it yourself. So. That's it, and until next time, see ya.